Hello and welcome to the Journal. Today we are in an archaeological site here at the southwestern part of the old city of Jerusalem, near St. Andrew's Church, beside the Menachem Begin Heritage Center, where a remarkable finding took place. In 1979, an archaeological excavation was conducted here that led to the discovery of a set of silver scrolls, which from now on will be called the Ketef Inom Scrolls. Named after the place known as Katef Hinnom, where the Valley of Rephaim and the Hinnom meet on the old road from Jerusalem leading to Bethlehem. What are the Katef Hinnom scrolls and what makes it such a remarkable archaeological finding? The Katef Hinnom scrolls are an artifact that contains what might be one of the oldest surviving texts from the Hebrew Bible dating from the Second Temple period around the late 7th to early 6th century BCE, prior to the Babylonian exile and are now preserved at the Israel Museum. Before we talk about the text written in the scrolls, how were the scrolls discovered? The scrolls were discovered inside ancient burial caves by an Israeli archaeologist, Gabriel Barkai. Gabriel had a group of 12 to 13 year old volunteers from Tel Aviv who were members of an archaeology club for youth. At the site where they were excavating were empty tombs that had been looted a long time ago. One of the kids was giving the test of cleaning out the dirt from the corner under the burial benches. As a boy, filled with curiosity and energy, he started banging the corner with a hammer. It broke, revealing an entrance to a secret chamber containing more than 1,000 objects. There were 125 objects of silver, 40 iron arrowheads, gold, ivory, glass, bones, 150 semi-precious stones, and skeletons. The objects dated to the late 7th and early 6th century BCE. But the most surprising find was the amulet, which is made from two small silver cylinders with a cylindrical hole. In the center inside the cylinder were two tiny rolled up silver scrolls, one inch long. The silver was woven into a chain and worn as a pendant around the neck. When the scrolls were opened in the laboratory of the Israel Museum, the archaeologists were fascinated to discover that they were engraved with tiny ancient Hebrew script. There are three significant aspects to this discovery. First is that the Katefinom scrolls predate the Dead Sea Scrolls by hundreds of years. Secondly, the scrolls contains the earliest known written reference to the God of Israel. Thirdly, the inscription on the scroll is a form of a priestly blessing which is taken from the Book of Numbers that is still recited by priests in synagogues to this day. The passage thus reads, Yevarchecha Hashem veishmerecha, Yair Hashem pana velecha veechuneka, Isa Hashem pana velecha vayasem lecha shalom. The Katefinom scroll is a valuable archaeological discovery as it gives us the feel of the Jewish life as it was in Jerusalem 2,700 years ago. It is amazing how this remarkable discovery provides valuable insight into the preservation of Jewish scriptures as seen on the silver scroll, which contains the priestly blessings of Aaron that is recited to this very day. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Journal. Join us next time for more exciting adventures in archaeology and the rich history of Jerusalem. Center.